Hi everyone, uh, today I will continue the same topic for ASPOC function card and today we'll focus on the OPC UF part. So as you know, we will link uh, with a POC with the IP address 0 0.1, 0 0.5 and the FTP function card with the IP address 0 0.1, 0 0.6. So what we need to do first is uh, create the OPC UA tag to enable the OPC UA function and the maximum tag we can use uh, will be up to uh, 1000 tags. And today's example, I will use the three tags, uh, one a bool and two word device. So let me switch to the ISP soap portion first. So you can see we define our three tags in the OPC web table, uh, one a bool device and two a word device. And then this is the test team program. I will move the spatial register 396 uh, means the uh, second and uh, a minute uh, as a, a special register 395 uh, to these two data register means uh, D0 and D1 and then we can uh, download the program so you can see here we also include the OPC UA table and next step uh, we need to uh, synchronize the time of our POC so uh, you can use uh, two methods. The first one is uh, use the NTP server function and second we can manually synchronize the time with the laptop. So you can use uh, these two functions. So today I will show you use the real-time clock uh, synchronization with the POC uh, and the laptop. So you can see here uh, we select tool and set the RTC so we can click the synchronization. And if you want to use the NTP server, then you can go to here, select the Ethernet port, advanced setting for the NTP. So you can enable, then type in the NTP server and select the time zone of your uh, country. Okay, then you can uh, download the settings. And the next, I will talk about the hardware config setting of POC and the FTP function card. So basically, uh, if you want to set the IP address of a function card, then uh, we will go to the function card tool. So you can see we will set the IP address over here. And for the default, we will enable the web server function. And next, we can click the SFTP function card. Then uh, we can click the OPC UA user setting. Then click here uh, to enter and set the username password. So today's uh, example, we use the uh, iPhone and the password with iPhone 1234. After that, we can uh, click download the setting to POC. Uh, after you uh, download these two settings to POC, then you might need to wait until the MS indicator of FTP function card uh, become uh, green, means uh, continue on, then you uh, power recycle the POC and wait until the MS indicator back to uh, always uh, on means our green again. So now I will switch back to the hardware config. So this one is uh, what I mentioned for the function card tool setting. We change to manual, then uh, select the FTP function cards uh, with the IP address 0 0.1, 0 0.6, then uh, click uh, download. Okay, then uh, click close and then we can uh, select this one for the FTP function cards. Then we go to the OPC UA server setting. So this one is for the anonymous uh, login. So here we have to create the username and password. And you can see uh, for the OPC UA function cards actually can support up to four sets uh, username and password. So here we select the iPhone and iPhone 1234. Then uh, remember we have to click the download from here instead of here. Okay. So we download the settings to POC and click. Uh, cl and just want to remind you once you uh, power recycle the POC, the MS indicator will become uh, always uh, on, but in the red. Then you will uh, change to uh, green and start to blink. 
after uh, bring him for a while, then you will uh, switch to uh, always on with a green light. And then next, I uh, will show you a uh, user DI link to uh, setting and uh, scan to the OPC UA server of uh, ASPUC. So you can see this is the IP address, and we select the type with the OPC UA. So this is the address, and then with a uh, 4840, then we can select this one and select uh, OPC UA server with the basic 256 uh, set or uh, sign and the encryption. Okay, now we'll switch to the DI link part. So you can see here, uh, we click this one and define a type of OPC UA IP address, phone number, then we can click scan and select the, this one and define the username, IFO, and the password 1234. Okay, then we can click accept change. But you will see now you will just show the initial fail uh, because uh, now Actually, the server and the client did not uh, have the trust uh, certificate of each other. So what we need to do is uh, back to the hardware config. Okay, so uh, we need to click the OPC UA server certification management, then uh, click upload. Once upload, you will see the uh, optional list here, then we can add on this to the trust list. After we add on the, this one to the trust list, then we can download the certificate uh, to the POC again. And after that, uh, you can try the DI link again so you can auto uh, successfully uh, establish the connection. So now we back to the hardware config and then uh, click upload uh, from the ASFTP function card. So we click upload. Okay, once this done, then we click OK. And then you can see the OPC UA server certification uh, management. Then we add on this one to the trust list and then uh, download to POC. And again, once you download, then the MS indicator will start to blink again. So just wait until this one uh, back to normal, means continue on. And then we switch back to the DI link. So you can see now it's already uh, become light blue. That means we already established the connection and we can click inside. So you can see uh, this is the condition. So we can uh, try to modify the status. So we change this uh, condition from uh, false to true. So you will see the data will start to update. The reader data register is uh, the second uh, of real-time clock, and this is the minute of uh, RTC. And next, I will also show you for the UA expert. So we can add on the server over here. So double click to add on. We assign the IP address with 192.168.1.6 with uh, 4840. Okay, so you can see here we got the uh, uh, anonymous. Uh, so here we select the basic 256 with sign and encrypt. So we can use the username IFO, then for the password IFO, sorry, 1234. Okay, then uh, uh, select the connect automatically. So you will see here will pump up the error message uh, because uh, for the server side did not trust this uh, client. So we can uh, click uh, this, trust the server certificate. And then we need to go back to the hardware config setting. So we upload the setting again. So click OK. OK, then we can add the UA expert to the trust list. And remember, uh, we need to download the setting to POC. So again, you need to wait until the MS indicator becomes a continue on, always the green light. Okay, so we back to the UA expert, and uh, we click uh, connect. So now you can see it already established the connection and with the three uh, tags. So you can see this is the uh, condition. 
already set to true and then we can compare this one with the di link sorry okay so that's all for today's uh, topic thank you